How's it everybody? Very short and sweet corporate governance question here. Extract from an audit report issued by VC Auditors to Young's Limited, one of their clients. So, in our opinion, the financial statements fairly represent, in all material aspects, the financial position and cash flows of Young's Limited, as at the 28th of Feb 2025. It was set in accordance with IFRS, uh, International Financial Reporting Standards, and compiled with the requirements of the Companies Act. Uh, the ordered evidence obtained is sufficient, reliable, and appropriate to provide a basis for our opinion. Okay, awesome. Young's Limited, they're cooking here. Um, yeah, it's, this is a really good opinion. It's, it's the best type you'll ever receive. Uh, it's unqualified. It's, it's awesome. It's flawless. It's reliable. You know, we as the public... You know, we'd be happy to invest in, in Young's Limited, this, this public company. 4.1.2, name two reliable types of audit evidence that VC auditors used as the basis for their opinion. Yo, booty, there are like hundreds here. Source documents, all the journals, contracts, data statements, bank statements, asset registers, deeds and registration documents of the company. Um, any kind of ledgers, uh, payrolls, creditor statements, EFT vouchers, physical inspections when they actually go to the premises. Look, there's just, there's a lot there. There's just, there's, there's too much. Uh, so like just journals and ledgers, to be honest with you, or any kind of financial statement. But yeah, journal, journals and ledgers are the easy ones. That's what I remembered when I was in matric. 4.1.3, explain how this audit report could have a positive influence on the company in the future. Uh, provide two points. How? Well, one, we're going to have major shareholder confidence, okay? Shareholders are going to be gassed. They're going to be very happy. Uh, they'll have confidence in the management of the company and they'd want to retain their shares. Uh, and not just that, it could attract potential shareholders, raise them up. Okay, look, that's enough Gen Z stuff I'm going to say. But yeah, Young's Limited is raising up potential shareholders. That's it. Um, also, it'll make it more viable for the company to raise more capital in the future it's very lucrative uh, and not just that it reassures stakeholders any interested parties that the company's financials are trustworthy uh, and just reducing other forms of risk and that's basically it for the question nice cute quick to the t no nonsense